Greetings, Imperial citizens. Thanks again for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. I was about to start another video when this showed up. My Razor Crest. I don't have a script. I don't really have a plan. But let's open it up and check it out. If you're new to my channel, I do stop motion animation, so stay tuned. And here we go. Ah, uh, vintage collection boxes. They never disappoint. Beautiful color photos. More colored photos on the other along inside. And the awesome black and white artwork. On the outer styrofoam, we have a, a couple of carbonite blocks and the landing gear. Wow. All right, here's what's inside, aside from the, uh, the main hull. We've got the two uh, wings with the uh, big engines. We have uh, Mando. Uh, this is a cape version that only comes with this set. I did not realize that he was uh, not carded. Uh, two more slabs of uh, carbonite. We've got uh, one of the stands, one of the guns. And here's another one of the stands uh, with the gun. Uh, two uh, carded figures. This is the uh, Jawa and the exclusive Grogu, both exclusive to this set. And uh, let's see, under here we have a, a bag of accessories. And then tucked away, all the way down here, is uh, the base of the stand. There are at least 65 individual pieces included. The cargo netting is removable, but I decided against removing it because I'd probably never be able to get it back in right. Now let's put it together. The landing gear wells have working sliding and opening covers, and the landing struts simply slide and snap into place. Both engines snap into place, and you can remove them again if needed, but be warned. It's a little tough. The removable panels are specific to Chapter 2 of The Mandalorian, where off-world Jawas scavenge the Razor Crest. There's a large removable top panel to access the hold, which also houses the escape pod. And then there are two Ford main cannons. Two panels attached to each engine. Starting with the canopy, attached to two forward cannons, then a port side panel and the aft cockpit cover. Sliding back to midship, we have the large panel that's removable via a big button right here. The escape pod and the escape pod cover sit on top of this. Moving to the tail, we have a cover for the rear cannons and one more panel. On the starboard side, we have a large access panel along with one smaller panel. Then on the port side, we have three more panels. That completes the outer hull. This thing has like a zillion features. Let's start with the opening side door and working ramp. Inside, there's an actual working carbon freezing chamber. Raw carbonite not included. To secure your frozen bounties, there's four rack clamps used to store the four carbonite blocks included as Hasbro's third tier unlock. And don't overlook this hidden feature. Grogu's pram stand can be used to float the carbonite blocks. Too bad there's only one included. But note, the same stand is included in the Vintage Collection's VC-184, The Child. At the forward hold, next to the first ever on-screen bathroom in Star Wars, you'll find a removable panel to reveal Grogu's hammock and a storage cubby hole underneath. One of the finer details is the weapons locker. 16 blasters. This is hard. One ammo magazine. I mean, like, really hard. 
and three thermal detonators. That's 20 pieces. Eight bags are also included that you can hang on either side of the hall. And there's a ladder that leads to the escape pod, which was Hasbro's first tier unlock. The final accessory is a basket that can carry precious cargo. And there's a perfect spot for it in the Razor Crest. The nose guns rotate and the cockpit is well designed to easily hold three, well, four figures. Finally, there's a little friend hiding aft, a pop-up rear cannon. Included as the fourth tier unlock is a three-part stand to allow you to display the Razor Crest in flight mode. Simply remove the landing gear, close the covers, and insert. This set also comes with three figures. An exclusive off-world elder Jawa from the aforementioned chapter two, which was the second tier unlock, and the fifth and final tier unlock, an exclusive Grogu with his Kuil made silver pram. And the Razor Crest exclusive Mandalorian with a soft goods cape. This is truly a work of art. Doing this review and exploring all the fine details really made me appreciate the craftsmanship that went into designing the Razor Crest. Well done, Hasbro. And in case you were wondering about this cool t-shirt, my daughters Grace and Allison made it for me. You're welcome, Dad. And that's all for this communique. And now, as always, it's time for you to do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below, and await the next transmission. Now, where am I going to put this thing? I mean, like, really hard. Like, sitting through The Last Jedi hard.